would like to insert your image, and then, at the top of the screen, click on the Insert ribbon. Locate the Illustrations group, and you can see that we have several options of illustrations that you may add to your document. Click on the Picture button, and a search box will appear. Navigate to your image, select it, and then click the Insert button. You will see that your image has been inserted into your document. If you look at the top of the screen, you will notice that the Format ribbon is now selected. The Format ribbon gives you options to change the size and position of the image, as well as make other adjustments. Next, we will insert a chart. Let's scroll down. Select the location for a chart. And click on the Insert ribbon. We will click on the Insert Chart button and see a chart dialog box appear. As you can see on the left-hand side, there are several chart options. Select a chart that you would like to place into your document and click OK. Our chart has been placed into the document and a spreadsheet window has appeared. The spreadsheet will allow us to input or modify the data in our chart. Take note that the chart will automatically update as we change our data. Once you have finished modifying your data, you may close the spreadsheet window. Since we just placed a chart, our design ribbon is now selected. The design ribbon is where you may alter the appearance of your chart or edit your data. Now, let's add a caption to our chart. Right-click on the chart and select Insert Caption, and a dialog box will appear. Use the drop-down menu beside the word Label to change the type of label for your caption. Enter a name for your caption using the text box above. Finally, use the drop down beside the word position to change the positioning of your label. Click OK and the caption will be added to your media object.